He was a troubled young man, unhappy with the hand life had dealt him. But what turned the disgruntled Jake Davison into a mass killer? Detectives hope the clues will be found in his many posts on social media, where invariably he comes across as very depressed. I'm so beaten down and defeated by life. That drive that I once had, that's gone now. A theme of his postings is his belief that he is unattracted to women and unable to get a girlfriend. These images he posted on the popular forum Reddit nine months ago, posing the question, am I ugly, brutally honest, and asking users to give him their opinions. On social media, Davison had written about mass shootings, saying they were a new phenomena that couldn't be blamed on guns. He also researched online the culture known as incels, men who, like himself, view their own bodies as loathsome and unlovable. Lewis Brace at Exeter University had studied the culture and says it can have tragic consequences. In most people, this uh, materialises in severe cases of depression and increased risk of suicide. But for a small minority, um, these views start to express themselves in violent ways and they start to think about conducting violent actions against women. Hi. Elliot Roger was probably the most notorious incel killer. Seven years ago in California, he shot dead six people and injured many more before turning his gun on himself. Unlike America, the UK has some of the toughest gun laws in the world. Police here must judge applicants are not a threat to public safety. There are checks on physical and mental well-being and potentially significant in this case on social media posts. That's often quite a good indication uh, of uh, the person's attitudes, behaviour, uh, whether there re it might be tensions, whether they might have strong political or racist views. Jake Davison's many postings and the hard drive of his computer are now being studied by experts. Too late to help those he killed, but still hugely important to answer the question, why? Paul Davis, News at 10.